This is the statue of Edward Cornwallis, one of Halifax's most controversial historical figures. For those who don't know, Cornwallis was the founder of this great city, but his journey to establish Halifax was unfortunately paved with the blood of the Mi'kmaq people. When he landed in Chibucto Bay in 1749, Edward Cornwallis began the arduous task of founding a city. To secure the land, Cornwallis issued a proclamation declaring a bounty on the scalps of all Mi'kmaq men, women, and children. The bounty had his desired effect, and the Mi'kmaq people were decimated. This was the beginning of the city of Halifax. Now, some 250 years later, there are generally two perspectives that I've found that the people of this city have on Edward Cornwallis. They either say this, I don't know who that is, or they say something to this effect. Wasn't he the controversial founder of Halifax? Those in the latter category are similarly divided in two. For those who know of Cornwallis, they either believe that he should be struck from public view and his legacy forgotten, or that his actions should be put in context and he should be remembered as a severe mark on Halifax's history. In the recent past, a movement has been made to remove all seemingly celebratory monuments to Cornwallis's life. In June of 2011, the Halifax Regional School Board unanimously voted to rename Cornwallis Junior High. Similarly, the statue has been defaced and vandalized multiple times over the years. Take a quick walk around downtown Halifax, and you will see many posters like this hanging around. People are clearly unhappy with the name Cornwallis sticking around, but we must consider both sides. We have to decide whether whitewashing history is the best course of action. We have to continue a dialogue surrounding our past. So what do you think? Do you think that we should remove all streets, statues, and monuments to Edward Cornwallis? Or are you in favor of reframing them in a different context? Whatever your position may be, it is important that you make yourself heard.